4.2, number 43. We're going to take the derivative of this function, r of x. Now, first we're going to replace this right here with a. a is going to equal the square root of 2x plus 1. And we'll remove the, or replace the um, root with a fractional exponent. This will make it easier to take a derivative of it. So, a prime, with respect to x, is going to be 1 half times 2x plus 1, all to the negative 1 half power, times 2x plus 1, derivative. When we take the derivative of the 2x plus 1 here at the end, we're going to get 2. Multiply the 2 times the first 1 half, and we'll end up with 2x plus 1 to the negative 1 half power. Now on to rx. I'm going to replace this with a minus x squared to the negative 1 power. So when we take the derivative of this function, what we'll have is negative 1 times a minus x squared to the negative second power times a minus x squared derivative. That'll be chain rule right there. So we have negative 1 times a minus x squared all to the negative second power. The derivative of a is going to be 1. And again, chain rule times a prime minus 2x is the derivative of negative x squared. And from there, we just simply need to replace our a's and our a primes here and here. So r of x is going to equal negative 1. And the, our a is going to be the square root of 2x plus 1 minus x squared all to the negative second power. a prime is going to be 2x plus 1 all to the negative 1 half power minus 2x. And there's a little bit of cleanup that we can do. Uh, first of all, this negative can distribute here, okay, because there's no power here, and make that a positive and that a negative. And also, this negative two we can re uh, we can remove and take the reciprocal of this function right here. And this negative we can remove and take the reciprocal of this function right here. So this is just clean up right now. So this becomes 1 over the square root of 2x plus 1 minus x squared to the positive second power times positive 2x minus 1 over 2x plus 1 to the 1 half power. And we can clean up this a little further. We can make that a root. So what we'll have is 1 over square root of 2x plus 1 minus x squared, all squared, times 2x minus 1 over the square root of 2x plus 1.